Kurt Geiger is a brand that I have spoken to you about many times. It's been a minute since I've done a video. Let's chat about my current favourite pieces. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrate yourself and of course celebrating others. So today we are talking about Kurt Geiger, a brand that I am a big fan of, a brand that I own many pieces from. I'm probably on about 25, 30 pairs of their shoes that I currently own. And I have probably had to let go of 10 or 15 just due to excessive wear. Um, I own eight, nine bags. I own multiple pieces, um, like multiple accessories, caps, card holders, wallets, etc. So it's a brand that I'm very familiar with. It's a brand that I've spoken to many of you about. And I know that a number of you have gone on to buy Kurt Geiger pieces. And I hope that you're really loving them. But what I thought I would do today is just quickly reflect on my top, I think it's eight favourite pieces currently available, share them with you and let me know what you think. So without further ado, let's get into this. I have them on my phone here. So let's start off with how I got started into the brand and that was shoes. So the shoe I want to talk about is the Lenin Sneaker. Um, and this is £139 and it is in the colour Bone Combination, which is almost like a cream with a caramel sole. I love this as a low top sneaker. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. The reason that I was really drawn to this particular style is, although it's a bit more neutral than I would normally wear, actually for shoes I do sometimes tend to be quite neutral. But what I loved about this was how they were styling it with chinos with suits with more formal wear and then this adds a nice sophisticated casual element which i think is really really lovely when i first saw the shoe i thought i bet you that would look fantastic at the bottom of a relaxed navy chino sport jacket set of course you click through to the photos it's got a navy sort of suit trouser chino then there's a beige suit trouser chino and it works so well with both. This is a shoe that would go with pretty much everything and anything. And I own a number of these low top sneakers from Kurt Geiger. I find them to be fairly comfortable. The Donny um, was a predecessor of this type of shoe many years ago. I own probably seven or eight pairs of those. And I've always really, really liked them. The one thing I would say with them is buy them true to size. So I had mine in a size 10 at first and I was having real issues with them slipping and um, tearing up the back of my um, foot. Whereas now that I buy them true to size in a size nine, I've never had an issue. So buy them true to size um, and you'll do very well from them. But I thought these were really lovely. They did them in all black as well, which is on sale. And that's in almost like a velvet with a leather sole. And then there was also black um, as the body of the shoe with a white sole. I think that the bone combination is still the best version. However, with the two that are on sale for £69, it's a really good price for a nice trainer. Let's go to a bag. And this is the nylon Kensington bag. And this is really nice. It's a little reminiscent of Versace. For me, it feels like a tiny bit of a tube there um, in terms of the pattern with the chains, etc. But I think it's a really nice version um, of the Kensington bag. I like the versatility of it. I like the fact that you have the top handle that is built in, but then you also have the chain strap so that can be long shoulder or crossbody. I'm a big fan of the Kensington range. I own five double XL, one medium, one mini. Yeah. I think I own for, yeah, that's that, yeah, seven Kensington bags. I used to have eight, I sold one. Um, 
but I used to have eight and I like them very much um, but they are flat backs through and through whereas this has a little top handle aspect to it has a shoulder bag aspect to it it's a medium size it could be used for day it could be used for evening you can just tuck the chain in and make it fully a top handle it's a very versatile bag for 219 pounds also nylon hassle-free material weather resistant easy to use easy to care for easy to manage what more could you ask for it's got a really nice print to it this is a bag that people would notice and say, I like your bag. It's a nice piece. I have a nylon double XL Kensington. I don't use it a huge amount. However, hassle free beyond belief. And for me in my collection, I like items that are hassle free. I like items that are worry free. This would be one of them. So definitely one for you to think about. So I mentioned accessories and a great accessory from Kurt Geiger is the card holder. This has been slightly updated since I bought it because it now features the eagle head emblem on it, which is a nice design touch. And they've got it in this beautiful yellow and green front with a gorgeous blue on the back. It's absolutely lovely as card holders go. This is very durable. It's in a pebbled leather. It's sturdy. It's well made. Um, it's eye catching. So when SLGs are in your bag, it's very easy to lose them. They can blend. So having ones that are very bright in colour, this has a nice metallic um, finish to it. This will be eye catching. This will be easy to use. It will be durable. I use mine day in, day out for probably about three or so years. And yes, it's showing a little bit of wear now. I wouldn't be able to sell it. However, it's still more than usable. So for what you pay for this, this is £49. I think it's a great, great option. Alternatively, if like me, you also love a long wallet, then you do have the long wallets available. There are a number of options here. You can get one that's um, from was it the Drench collection. You can get them that are monochrome. Um, but then also you have these very bright rainbow versions and I have one of the rainbow versions and I love it. But one that I'm particularly loving and very tempted to buy myself is this gorgeous pink and it is pink combination. I love it. Do I need another one? No. Do I really like this particular piece? Yes, I do. Did Kurt Geiger send me a £40 voucher to use? Yes, they also did. So maybe I can put that towards this and then I'll just pay the difference. So it's a beautiful, very versatile, very easy to use long wallet. I mentioned it in my recent SLG, top SLGs um, video, because also this particular one, I think you could use as a clutch. Um, if you wanted to, you can just slip your phone into the centre of it, maybe put your key, if you've just got a singular key, you could put that into the um, zip pocket and then just carry it like a clutch if you wanted to. It's a really great wallet, I highly recommend it. £79, durable, fun, playful, easy to use, ticks every box of an SLG for me, good piece. Next up, you know I love a high heel and I really like these Kensington platform heels. Would I buy them myself? No, I probably wouldn't because a sandal is not my style. However, I absolutely love the baby pink that they have used and then with the way that they've affixed these crystals onto it. They've chosen a really beautiful palette. It's very summery. It's very springtime. These would look lovely at something like Henry Gatta or they'd be fun for maybe a day at the races just to detract from a bit of seriousness they're very garden party they're just they're just an enjoyable fun shoe again they're a bit eye-catching they're a little bit playful they'll be quite comfortable as well because they're 12 and a half centimeters high but with a four centimeter platform so comfort wise I think you would be pretty stable it's a fairly thick heel but also comfort wise the um the steepness the pitch of the shoe isn't too extreme so they could probably be ones that you could wear fairly easily for the majority of the day especially if you're doing a combination of standing and sitting so these are really nice they're fastened to the foot as well which as we know is one of my rules of making a high heel more comfortable and easier to walk in a rule I ignore myself however you don't always have to follow what I do do what I say, not what I do <laughs> in this instance. But um, I think this is a really nice shoe, £189. Don't think it's an unreasonable price, given the fact that you do have all of these crystal elements to it. It's a nice piece, well worth thinking about. Another beautiful, embellished, but more of an evening heel. And this is from the Diffusion brand of Kurt Geiger, Carvella. And this is the Lovebird heel. This comes in pink, this comes in blue, this comes in more of a beige gold. 
and I think it's absolutely stunning. I love the ombre effect of it. This will just catch anybody's eye. And this could, these could be worn with so many outfits. I can just see how versatile this particular shoe could be. You could be worn with trousers. It could be worn with dresses. It could be worn with skirts. It could be worn with jumpsuits. Why not wear it with a short? Who, you know, why not? Why not? Do what you want to do. I think they've done a beautiful job. I love the way that the, it's almost like a PVC and then, so you still get an aspect of seeing the foot, but then it looks like the foot is embellished. It's absolutely beautiful, 139 pounds. It's a fairly sensible heel height as well. It's eight and a half millimeters um, or eight and a half centimeters, 85 millimeters. It won't be the most comfortable. It's a stiletto at the end of the day, but I could see this being fairly comfortable how flexible it will be because of the rhinestones um, and sort of embellishment that you would need to test and you would need to walk around in them. But I think from an aesthetic perspective, a lot of the markers of making these more comfortable are there and aesthetically they're beautiful. So definitely worth thinking about if you are looking for a glitzy but not break the bank cost heel, this could be something to think about. So I don't buy from Carvella myself. Um, I buy from Kurt Geiger. However, I do occasionally have a look because what's there to lose? Um, you know, if there's a great piece available at a great price, why wouldn't I buy it? So definitely one to think about. Um, I'm not going to buy these just simply because the heel height is a little low for me. I personally prefer 10 centimeters. However, I think they're absolutely stunning. <laughs> Our final two pieces, and this is a piece of jewellery, and this is something that when I next go into store, I would like to look at. And this is the XL Chunky Bracelet. Now this comes in silver and this also comes in gold. You know that I would go for it in the silver. I love that it has edge to it. I love that it would match some of the hardware, so it would match the hardware on probably three or four of my Kurt Geiger bags. Um, I just think it's really, really fun. I like chunky jewellery. I think there's a time and a place for it. This I would probably use more during the day than I would during the evening, but I like it. I think it's striking. How comfortable it would be? TBC. Um, the only thing is with, um, particularly for me with bracelets, is I don't tend to wear them if I'm working because I don't like how they feel against the desk when I'm typing. Um, I also feel the same about watches. I don't tend to wear a watch when I'm working because they clang or they scratch or, you know, they don't feel the most comfortable. So it tends to be something I avoid. However, for a night out or for a day out where I'm not, you know, doing anything like that, then this could be a really nice piece. I think it's quite a good price point as well. I have considered buying some of the earrings, like the matching earrings with the eagle head emblem. They're a little bit big for me, um, but if they brought out a smaller version, absolutely I would consider them because it would be nice to get a matching set. Then last, but by no means least, a very simple and very effective crossbody messenger bag. Now this sits within the men's collection, but as you know, I believe anyone should be able to buy anything and just love what they're wearing. So um, this is £239. It's a fairly uh, reasonable size. It's a 25 centimetre base. I think this would sit really nicely. It looks to be somewhat adjustable. It's practical, it's easy, it's understated. This could be quite a nice work bag. Um, this could be quite a nice day bag. I also do think it probably does have a place if you wanted to use it in the evening. Tuck the strap in, use it as a little bit of a pouch kind of cr uh, clutch style moment. Why not? Um, it's, just a, it's just something that would be very simple to pair. Um, you could wear it with a number of the other pieces that we've uh, spoken about today. Um, alternatively, it would be great with kind of monochromatic looks, bright colours as well um, as a nice contrast. So definitely something to consider if you're thinking about a leather messenger bag. I think £239 is a really reasonable price point. Kurt Geiger are pretty good with maintaining their price points. They've not significantly increased them throughout the years that I've been buying, um, maybe by 10 or 15 pounds, but I've been buying from this brand for goodness knows, oh, nearly maybe 15 years almost, if not, like bags I started buying maybe four years ago, but shoes I started buying, I must've been about 16 or 17 when I bought my first pairs. So yeah, maybe 12, 13 years. And I have certainly not noticed ridiculous price increases. They do a great sale. You can buy them at outlet from time to time. It's a great, great brand. I absolutely love it. And it's well worth considering. I think this is a great crossbody. 
Let's quickly do some honourable mentions. I loved the colours of this cocktail ring. I think it's beautiful. These sunglasses have a little bit of drama with them. And of course, I'm so attracted to the pink lenses. They are beautiful. Vibrant, stunning swimsuit. This would be great for a day at the pool and it could be dressed up as well. Love the simplicity of this belt with that little eagle emblem. This will be really easy to use. It was about £80 and £319 for an all-leather, large shopper, work-style bag. Great price. So there we have it, everyone. Those are some pieces that I think are worth considering. Let me know what you think of Kurt Geiger. Do you buy from the brand? Do you not? Is there a reason you don't? Is there a reason that you do? I personally really like it because I think it's a way of bringing in fun, eye-catching pieces that don't break the bank um, and they always get a lot of attention and a lot of compliments and I have to say I do think they're pretty well made as well. So definitely a brand that I will continue to look at, that I will continue to shop from. I've not bought anything from them in a little while but I think there are a couple of pieces that absolutely could change that in the not so distant future. Let me know what you're thinking. Thank you so much as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye now. Mwah.